we are heading up to St. Peter and St. Paul Cathedral here in Burnell. And it kind of sits up a hill, kind of overlooks the entire city. So I'm hoping to be some pretty good views up here. That's very impressive. St. Peter and St. Paul. Reminds you a little bit of St. Vitus in Prague. Not sure which one was built first. Maybe the sign will tell us. Early Gothic Church of St. Peter began in the 13th century when it was established. At the end of the 19th century, it was rebuilt in a Neo-Gothic style. The tower tour, maybe. Pretty impressive organ work there, huh? All right, let's see what else we got around here. The tower is this way. Let's see the tower there. I think if I read correctly or saw a video, it's about 250 steps up. Which will be well worth it to get a view over the city. Let's see if I can find an entrance here. Be back shortly. Well, this is the top of St. Peter and St. Paul. And it's downright terrifying. It's, it's only like a, a three foot wall. And it's straight down. Well, this is Brno. As you look across, very reminiscent of Prague and the red rooftops and cobblestone pathways. I don't think you can go any further up. I think we're looking maybe to the north and northeast. So I don't really have a sense of direction. I think I walked, yeah, okay, so I walked up this path right here. This is where I first started filming. And then I went around this direction through the church and to the top. It was less than $2 to walk up here. 
so that's not too bad and it gives you a very very good view over the city and see all the different spires that are out there make sure i don't have anybody waiting on me from behind so it's a little different like the um church i went to the top of in oh where was it poland somewhere burklov maybe um that had a like a wraparound uh, thing at the top so you can see all different directions this one looks like it's just to the north and there's one that looks over to the south as well that's a little bit bigger than this side beautiful day mostly sun and mid 70s probably for a high That's a real quick look off the other side. See the trains down below uh, main train station. I think it's back to the left. Yes. So you can see where the test goes at. The train station is kind of in front of that. Uh, that looks like it's going more towards the south, I believe. And that's the southwest. Looks like an arena out there in the middle. I'm not sure. For which team maybe a basketball indoor type of arena it looks like i'm not sure where the football stadium's out here and but no again less than two dollars 40 check crowns that come up here which is about a dollar dollar 80 dollar 75 maybe that breeze feels good and it's only 124 steps up according to According to the sign right here, which is why it didn't take very long at all. Definitely worth two bucks, so. Alright, back to the bottom. I want to go right there and have a cold beer right now, but I'm only halfway up. I'm trying to get to the top of the castle, which I think is somewhere up there. If you want to see what's coming up here, let's see, we're in 8-3. Eight, eight, the best of Pioneer uh, Yave. I don't know what that means. That's at 9 o'clock, though. So we will go through the tunnel and climb as we go. A lot of people on the way down. Maybe there'll be a beer up here. It's certainly getting to be about time. It's after six. Let's see. That guy's walking with no shoes on. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Spielberg Castle. Harad Spielberg. I'll take a quick little tour around here. Oh yeah, I knew there'd be cafes up here. This is the Czech Republic for crying out loud. Well, this is not near as terrifying as the uh, top of the church bells. With that two foot, three foot wall. Looks like there might be a little overlook up here.
Oh yeah, very nice. Kind of see the entire castle complex here. That's the church I was just in moments ago. Maybe a half hour or so, and you can see the uh, twin towers of the church bells. So I started on the right side, and there's a little corridor you walk through to get over to the left, and you look out both directions. One looking north, one looking south. This one, you can go 360 degrees. A beautiful city. I see a Pilsner Urquell umbrella right there. You bet your ass I'll have one before I walk down. See the trains rolling? All right, I'm gonna continue to walk around here. Just a little further down, they got the cannons armed. Now, probably not armed, but at the ready, at the top of the castle wall, just in case, in case it gets real. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to walk over to this. Looks like another outlook. So I think what they've done is they kind of put four corners of outlooks up here to where you can, uh, where you can see four different directions, I believe. And it looks like you can get there from this direction. I'll let the traffic clear just a moment. Kind of see out to the west there, southwest. A couple of people drinking a cold one down there. Underneath it looks like a little, I don't know what that is, like a little gazebo maybe. Let me get up here before they do. This side looks a little more crowded than the opposite side. So I think there's a bunch of different directions that you can come up to the top. That guy's driving. Kind of seems unfair. But if you go into the park and stay to the right, I believe it puts you up on this side first. Certainly a few more folks over here. Looks like yoga day. So I'll be kind enough not to film the yoga people. <laughs> Everybody's looking at me like, what the hell is he doing filming for? Right? Oh, nice little church down there. I didn't realize it was yoga class over here. <laughs> That's outstanding. It's like a neighborhood through the hill. And then looks straight below, looks like close out with some fountains down there. Oh, very nice. Yeah, time to go get that well-earned and well-deserved beer. To the bar. Yeah, a little path through the woods here. Leaving the Spielberg Castle. Heading back into the city. Had two beers. Pilsner Quell. And a, uh, a little miniature half quesadilla. Cheese and ham. It's only $3.00. I hadn't really had anything to eat for about seven hours, so it was probably about time to get something. This is nice. So before I walked up that path, I think down, I'm going to go this direction just to have a little bit of a, a different view. I think I'll do a couple switchbacks. Then maybe head into the, uh, the city center. Maybe find a, a real dinner. Maybe a few more beers. My total bill up there for uh, 
the uh, little quesadilla and two beers was 170 173 check crowns so just about nine dollars maybe a little bit less eight and a half maybe I think we're getting I don't know it's one of the poorest exchange rates that it's ever been since I've been in the Czech Republic like 21 and a half crowns per dollar when I was here a couple summers ago it was almost 25 crowns I think it was like 24 and a half so I'm down about I don't know 15 percent maybe that's all right though still a very very affordable country and Beno is a very affordable town it's a pretty night out we're only uh I don't know, probably 7 o'clock. Probably got about an hour and 45 minutes till official sunset. And then probably another half hour of light after that. What are we doing? What are you doing? out walking their dog or their dog's walking their person. That's where we just were. Right up that way. Now we're heading down. What are we doing? The Reden is how you say good day in Czech Republic. There's probably a way you could say like good evening, but I don't know that I've ever learned it. It's a pretty steep little downhill right here. If you hear that noise behind me, that is a bag of baked Lay's paprika. In case I get hungry at the uh, hostel later. And we got a pack of dogs down here. Let's see. That's a big boy, curly tail. <laughs> and we'll go left and get out of here. That's a big guy. <laughs> You better know who you're messing with there, pal. All right, we'll check in from the city center, not too far away. I'd go a little bit more till this battery runs out. About 10% left. So the big black rocket thing over there drops a ball every day at 11 a.m. And you can try to catch it by sticking your hands in there. <laughs> I don't know what you get if you catch it. But I saw that on the uh, Honest Guy videos. So this is down uh, back in the main drag of town. Not very far from the uh, train station. Over here you've got a bunch of uh, food trucks. <laughs> and a nice line out there too. Some take home dessert pizzas maybe. CBD beer, I'm not sure what the hell that is. French fries for ten dollars. We get a small for five. That seems a little aggressive. That's kind of like a little downtown beer garden here. A lot of local craft brewers, baby. Prices look to be about two and a half to three dollars a beer. This was a little jumping castle that was set up earlier today, but it's after seven, so that is down for the night. Piss ores if they become necessary. Johnny the right choice. 
<laughs> I don't know if this is a uh, everyday thing during the summer. This is a Tuesday down here, so it's kind of hard to say if uh, they do this all the time. There's definitely no uh, macro brews down here. I don't see a Promen or a Pilsner. So everything looks to be pretty much local choice, locally represented. Bistro Bastardo. Oh, very interesting. Lucky Bastard, I read that was a fair no beer. Pretty good crowd on a Tuesday. All right, well, I'm gonna shut this down and find myself a cold one.